Hey guys, what's going on? Andrew coming at you. It's it's hot today, so you're just going to have to deal with the muscle shirt today. I can already see the comments now. Do you even live, bro? But anyways, um, I was thinking about like criticism. Uh, how, and so this is going to be criticism versus in Sweden versus the U.S. How criticism is gibbed, how countries do with criticism about their own country. So, you know, being here in a long time now in Sweden, I have worked in environments where I've worked in a multicultural environment where there was many people working in different countries. And I've worked in environments where, like, I'm pretty much the only one there that's not Swedish. And I've kind of noticed a trend. I find that for the most part, uh, Swedes, in my opinion, do a better job of giving criticism and receiving criticism. Um, I think, for example, for me, like when I first come to Sweden and still to this day, I take criticism very, very personally, uh, almost like it's an attack on my character. And I feel like in our criticism for us, our egos get involved a lot of the time where I feel like criticism in Sweden because of the way the work environment is and there's not a big hierarchy system, I think that criticism can be given more honestly. And also in Sweden, you have the Jean Delagen where you're not supposed to be really better than anyone else. And sometimes that can be a negative, but I also think in the sense that it kind of takes away the egos. I mean, even if you just look at our leadership, for example, right? If Trump gets criticized, what's the first thing he does? He goes on the attack. He goes after someone else. He criticizes them. He says, that was a very nasty question. You're very nasty. Sorry, that's my best Trump I can do. So he, he'll he go on the, the personal attack. Where in Sweden, because you don't have the hierarchy, it's very easy for people to sit down, have a discussion. I mean, to be fair, sometimes discussions can go on way too long. But for the most part, uh, discussions are healthy and people are sitting down and talking and agreeing about things. But it's really good for – it's a healthy environment, I think, for criticism – uh, to come out and, and be explained and be talked about. So I do think that Americans could learn to give and take criticism a little bit better and take it less personally. I think it's healthy. For example, me on YouTube, yeah, I'll get comments that are just hate comments about how I'm a horrible person or, you know, awful comments. But if I get com comments with crit criticism, but it's like constructive criticism, I can choose to be like upset about it. But really, if I look at it openly and honestly, you know, I can take something away. I can go, oh, yeah, you know, that's something I could have done better. Oh, yeah, you're right. The microphone could be better. Oh, I could have done a better job with this or done a better job with that. In that sense, um, it's really beneficial. However, one thing I think Americans do better than Swedes, and you guys can disagree with me or not. This is a course. Probably a lot of people really disagree with me. But uh, I think Americans do a better job of criticizing their own country, taking criticism from other people from other countries about their own country. And I, I really believe that. Yeah, okay, people get upset and you see the people in the States like, we don't like it, get out. You know, you, you do see that. But for the most part, in my experience, seeing people abroad, I'm not talking about people traveling. I'm talking about people living abroad. They always seem to be like more of a minded about taking. A, I feel like Americans have this like guilt about some of the stuff that they did in the past, even though we didn't necessarily do it. Right. So like I feel guilty about uh, the Iraq war. But like I was a kid when everything was decided and made. It's not like it's my fault that the Iraq war happened. But I do think we feel guilty about certain things. Uh, we can look at our society and see issues that we have. Currently, obviously, we have a lot of stuff in the news and things going on now. But if you look at shows like The Daily Show that we have, where for years it was nothing about making fun of our, it was all about making fun of our government and things that don't work and things that don't work out, that I think that in that sense, we're able to look at ourselves, we're able to laugh, and we're able to accept things, we're able to take that criticism and say, yeah, this is messed up, this would be better. Now, it doesn't always mean that we're going to have real change, because... Uh, unfortunately, America is like an ox. It takes a very long time to turn to make a decision, you know. So that's just one way it is in America where, unfortunately, because we're so large, it can take a longer time to make uh, decisions. But I find that in Sweden, too, sometimes because everybody has to agree, you, you won't see Sweden like make really harsh decisions either uh, so quickly. Uh, but I think Swedes don't do as good of a job of taking criticism. And this is my experience from having my YouTube channel and no hate or whatever. But I think that it's very important for Swedes to that the, that Sweden is viewed very positively to the rest of the world. And if you criticize them, it's they don't like it. They don't like if someone foreign criticizes their country. This is just my opinion. Like, 
uh, I'll, I'll give a small little criticism that just meant to be fun. And for example, window screens in the window. And it's like, well, you can get that anyways. And how did it like, as if I'm saying that Sweden is like not a, not a, a non-developed country. It's almost like, I feel like people take it so critical in a sense that they're, they're so concerned about what people think about them that they have to be defensive every time somebody disagrees with them about something. And I think that's unhealthy in a lot of ways because one, it's interesting because Swedes are never like, like Americans like USA, USA, but Swedes care very much about their country and how people view it. But it's very Swedish to not be like telling people how awesome you are. It's like a silent confidence, if you will, of being proud of yourself. And uh, you're not going to wave a bunch of flags like the like those Norwegians, but you are going, <laughs> sorry, Norwegians, but you guys do like, uh, have that confidence to yourself. And like I said, it's very important how the rest of the world sees you. That I think it can blind you sometimes from things that could be a little bit better. Like if you could take criticism a little bit more, I'm not saying you necessarily have to change, but then you could look at some things and say, yeah, you know, this could be better or that could be better. Or why, why don't we do this? Or, or why don't we do that? So uh, I don't see a lot of like shows on in Sweden uh, criticizing Sweden, criticizing how the Swedish government works, because yes, there's a lot of trust with your government. Uh, so you could say that, oh, the American government is good. But my point is, I don't see that healthy level. So if I was going to say anything, I would say that Americans need to do a better job of taking personal criticism, not making it about them or being taking it personally and, and making it constructive so they can become better people, better individuals. But Swedes, need to do a better job to take criticism from people that live in Sweden that like me talk about it or people that they meet that have some issues with, with Sweden or just people that criticize them on an international level. Like if you go to, uh, I'll give you an example, even with the coronavirus crisis, if you go to the Reddit or whatever there, there's a coronavirus Reddit and people are critical of some things in Sweden. And it is fair because like the world's not coming to an end here. And there are some articles that can say that. And I can understand how if you're a Swede, you would take that personally. But there's like an army of Swedes. Like there is a Viking army that's on there that if they are criticized at all from any other countries, I mean, they go to war. Those keyboard warriors go to war to to make sure that Sweden doesn't get criticized, which is to me, is just a bit interesting. So whew, I'm probably going to get hate for this one, but it's just my personal opinion. So I'm sure I'm going to get criticized a lot in this video, but uh, do you agree? Do you disagree? What do you think? Say that in the comments below. I'll see you guys in the next video. Hello.